Let's keep it real. The food in The Sims 4 looks like prison food, okay? It looks like slosh. It looks questionable. It does not look delectable nor appetizing in the slightest. It needs a little plastic surgery and it's a little work done. But thankfully, we have modders to solve this issue. And I'm gonna tell you about some of my favorite Sims 4 food mods that you should install in your game to turn your Sims' meals from drab to fab. And I have a little bit of help from the queen of making food from scratch, Nara Smith. Before I start with this mod showcase, if you're interested in downloading The Sim inspired by real life influencer Nara Smith, you can download her for free from my first ever Sims dump on my Patreon, Salita Sims, and you can check out the video on how I create my Sims and my favorite cast mods in CC from my recent tutorial here on YouTube. Isn't she adorable? It wouldn't be a cooking video without her. <laughs> All right, since we have Nara here looking gorgeous and ready to cook for us, let's get into this. Also, if I sound a little bit off in this video, it's because I'm recovering from a cold, okay? Let's not talk about it. Let's just ignore it and pretend like it doesn't exist, okay? Okay, so the first mod I'm gonna talk about isn't actually a food-related mod, but falls under the lines of something that your Sims can do in their kitchen, something that they can make from scratch, and it is Simsonian's Perfumery Mod. So this mod lets you make functional perfumes for your Sims using flowers. This mod comes with 14 different scents that you can make for your Sims with different mood effects, and they last for four hours. Other Sims will be able to smell this on your sim and it will affect the sims you're talking to for around 30 minutes giving them a 30 minute moodlet each perfume requires six of the same flower and makes enough for six uses this mod also comes with a new perfumery skill and you can either gain the skill from making a bunch of perfumes or you can also read the perfumery books that are available in the bookcase that your sims can buy and there are three different books with every skill level increased your sim will be able to make one to two new perfumes and when you're done with these perfumes you can either let your sim have them for themselves to wear or your sim can sell them in their own little perfume shop so your sim could have a little side hustle a little side business going on okay so the second mod we're going to talk about is created by one of my favorite food mod authors of all time which is little blow bub and this is the toast e machine it is so cute it's kind of like a panini press but it makes custom toast and it's super cute okay so it comes with 13 new toasty flavors including five adventurous occult toasty flavors for example there is a sea foam toasty that replenishes mermaid hydration and there's also a plasma toasty that replenishes vampire thirst, which is so much more appealing than that sad excuse of a plasma fruit salad. No thanks. No thanks. My vampires are going to be eating toast. But yes, your sim can make these cute little toasties and these are available in restaurants. So if you want to make a little cute cafe or bakery, whatever it is, you can put this on the restaurant menu. You can make single family or party servings. And this mod does require the home chef hustle pack. All right. Next up, we have six and CC's functional kitchen sims stand mix. So this stand mixer comes in three different versions. There's one for Home Chef Hustle, which is an override and basically adds in everything from Home Chef Hustle to this mod. We have the override version of the giant, monstrous, ugly cupcake machine that comes with the base game of The Sims 4, which I just... What were they thinking? And there's a standalone version that makes one surprise flavor at a time. That is the version I have, but I'm probably gonna look into getting the second version. Anyways, if you do get the standalone version like myself, then you will be able to click on it and you will get a surprise cupcake flavor made for you. Just something quick and easy to make if your sim is craving something a little sweet. Next up, we have another mod by Little Blowbub and that is the Granny's Cookbook mod. This is a very well-known mod in the Sims community. It is honestly one of the best mods I have installed in my game. It's a cook Cookbook, and it's full of a bunch of custom content recipes made by the same creator. And best believe it looks 10 times better than the quality of The Sims 4 food. This book comes in plenty of different swatches. It does require Homestead Helper, which is another mod created by this creator. And the creator gives you the option to download these recipes of theirs in bulk, or you can download the recipes individually. So if you don't want certain things in your game, then you don't have to have them. Look at this roast chicken that she made. It looks stunning. It looks beautiful. And to the left of that cookbook is another cookbook. This is by a different creator. So and Severinka. Just like with Granny's cookbook, this cookbook also comes with plenty of different swatches as well as a shelf display that you can use if you would like to. And there are swatches for both Alpha and Maxis Match lovers. It is base game compatible. The only thing it requires is another mod by the same creators, which is the custom recipes mod. There are several categories just like with Granny's cookbook, but the one thing I love about this mod, actually I'm not sure if it's actually with this mod, it might be another Somic and Severinka mod, I will leave it on the screen, is that you can buy things straight out of the fridge. Things 
things like alcohol, things like drinks, things like pureed jars of food, and fresh fruits and vegetables, which is so cool because you could just leave these lying around your Sims house and they could just grab a handful of cherries or oranges or whatever it is and just eat them on the go. Such a convenient and aesthetic mod. And this creator is just amazing in general. I highly recommend checking them out. I have so many of their mods installed and uh, we're going to continue talking about them because the next mod that I'm going to talk about is Somic and Severinka's Baby Bottle Warmer mod. If you are someone who loves family gameplay and loves taking care of your toddlers, I'm not that type of person. I love neglecting my toddlers. I love acting like they don't exist. I love making jokes about their demise. But if you are someone who likes toddlers, you're going to love this mod, this functional baby bottle warmer mod. This mod does exactly what it says. It warms your baby's bottles for you. It comes in five swatches, four of them being alpha and one of them being maxis. And this does require a cool kitchen stuff pack in order to work. It comes with custom sound and visual effects. And milk is not the only thing that it heats up, okay? You can also make formula for your baby. You can also heat up water and you could also make tea for your toddlers, which I find really interesting. At first, I thought this mod was for infants, but it is actually not for infants. It is strictly made for toddlers. So keep that in mind when you download it. But there are three different teas that you can choose from. You could choose from chamomile, fennel, or rose hip. And these do actually help remove negative buffs that your toddler sim may have. And it can also give them a sleepy motive put those little fuckers to bed for you. And all of the drinks have a slight warming effect. It removes negative buffs and puts me to sleep. Can I, can I use this mod for myself? Cause I'm a tired bitch. All right, I'm gonna talk about something that I've always felt like The Sims 4 has lacked for whatever reason, and that is going to be blenders. Why don't we have blenders? Thank God, again, we have modders, and there are two different types of blenders I'm gonna be telling you about today. The first one I'm gonna be talking about is Ice Mun Mun's Smoothie Blender. So this smoothie blender comes with 25 different flavors of smoothies you can make, okay? The blender costs 400 simoleons, and there are 49 different swatches for this blender. Your Sim has the choice of making a fruit smoothie or a healthy smoothie. They can make family servings or they can make a single serving. Nara doesn't seem like she's enjoying her smoothie girl what's up no you don't like it but it's made from scratch oh my god she actually did get a mood lift from a disappointing drink a foodie sim only enjoys truly inspired drinks this is not one of those wow oh no not nara coming for ice Mun Mun's throat and the next blender mod i'm going to talk to you about is somak and severinka's functional blender and protein shakes mod so this one is a little bit different from ice Mun Mun's. ice Mun Mun's is pretty much just fruit smoothies and healthy smoothies this mod by somak and severinka is basically protein smoothies, protein shakes, if you will. The blender comes in five swatches and it does require a cool kitchen in order to work. It has animations and custom sound effects and custom buffs as well. These protein shakes will give your Sim energized moodlets. They are available in restaurants. And I found this detail really cool. If your Sim drinks one of these protein shakes before strength training at the gym, your Sims will actually build muscle faster. That is a really cool detail. I did not know that until I was making this video. And your Sim can buy whey protein from the cookbook Somic and Severinka's cookbook that I was telling you about earlier. So you can make these shakes from scratch. Oh, oh, we're taking a little dance break. Okay, that's fine. It's okay to have a little dance break in between cooking. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Next up is another banger by Somic and Severinka, and that is their Smeg functional kettle mod. I love the Smeg products. I don't care if that makes me a basic bitch. I love the Smeg products. So the Smeg functional electric kettle from Somic and Severinka comes in six different adorable swatches. So obviously this mod does require the 4Rent expansion pack in order to work, because 4Rent is where we got functional kettles for the first time. And just like the standard kettle that comes with the 4Rent expansion pack, it makes teas, coffees, and hot chocolates, and they're all so adorable. Look at this matcha that Nara made. Oh my god. Oh my god. Or this coffee. It has custom buffs. These drinks will give your Sims energy. And you could separately download overrides for the coffee filter and the tea infuser, which looks so nice in game. This is Ice Mun Mun's One Pot Mod. It comes in a stellar 16 different swatches. It is 250 simoleons. It is off the grid compatible and comes with 15 recipes. It is base game compatible. This is so convenient too because look, she's just sitting. She's just sitting as her cinnamon oatmeal is is slowly cooking. Oh, but look how gorgeous it looks. It looks so cute. You know, another thing I love about these mods is that they put an effort into the mod itself, right? But they also make sure all the details are there. Like this little bowl, this little ceramic dish that her oatmeal is in. How high quality and detail the oatmeal itself is. It's time to talk about another mod from Ice Mun Mun, and that is the Frozen Summer Ice Mod. This mod is actually a pretty big mod. I didn't know about everything about this mod until a few days ago when I was drafting this video 
but it comes with new ways for your Sims to make some frozen desserts, including popsicles, sorbet, and ice cream. So your Sim can use the popsicle tray to make ice cream from scratch, <laughs> or they can buy popsicles directly from it and just eat them whenever they want to. And there's quite a few flavors to choose from. There's about 15 of them. Sorbet and ice cream can be bought from the fridge, and they can also be bought from these cute little stands. Yes, it comes with a new vending machine as well as a stand that you can have NPCs vend ice cream from, which I find so cool for summer. You can put one of these in the park and have an NPC sell the ice creams, or if you're having a little get together at your Sims's house and you want to have an ice cream vendor there, such a cute, convenient mod. Oh, girl, we good? Did we eat our ice cream a little too fast, my love? I gave her the lavender flavor and she did get a little buff from it. It's lively lavender from eating popsicles. Floral taste of lavender and the richness of milk. Next up is yet another mod by Ice Mun Mun and that is the plant milk press mod. This mod lets your Sims make their own plant milk from scratch, of course. There are quite a few different milks that you are able to make with this mod. This mod is base game compatible. However, there are certain milks that require certain packs. So if you don't have these packs, you're not gonna see these milks in this mod and that would be the coconut milk requires island living the plasma fruit milk requires vampires and the soya bean milk requires eco living each of these milks have a certain buff and they will warm sims when they're cold and they can even cure illnesses seems like nara really enjoyed the banana milk she made she got this buff good libations the intricate flavors of a well-made drink can brighten any day it's the small things in life next up the last mod i'm going to be talking about by ice mun mun is the functional mill or the milling station mod this mod is base game compatible and can make several mill products, several including flour, rice, sugar, crates of fruit, dairy products, etc. All from scratch. This is literally the epitome of all from scratch. You're making your own flour from scratch? Are you kidding me? Almond moms everywhere are quaking over this mod, okay? This mod also comes with a new skill called the milling skill and you will learn the skill by having your Sims mill products or you can have your Sims read the milling manual that is available in the bookshelves. Now this mod doesn't come with all the ingredients needed to use this mod in its full capacity so make sure you read everything always 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 no matter what mod you're downloading make sure you go over everything that the creator has written about the mod to make sure you're using it properly because you have to download the ingredients separately they do not come with this mod and i lied to you this is not the last mod that we are talking about by Ice Mun Mun. There is one more. It is the Pastry Maker mod. This mod is so cute. I just got it in my game. It is adorable. Your Sim can make custom pastries. It comes with 21 new recipes and they could also learn the patisserie skill. You will improve your patisserie skill by making pastries or you can also read the pastry manual that is available in the bookshelves. It requires the custom food interactions mod yet again and it is base game compatible. And look at these adorable swatches. I love Ice Mun Mun. I love Ice Mun Mun. I love every creator in this video, but oh my god, Ice Mun Mun has a very special place in my heart because I use their mods all the time. All right, so I have a few more mods to go over before I end this video. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying watching so far, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Necrodog's Functional Toaster Mod, which is another thing I don't understand why we don't have in this game still, a toaster. Why don't we have a functional toaster? That's all right, because we have this mod to save us. So with this mod, you're able to craft single, family, or party sized amounts of custom toast and there are 10 different recipes six watches for the toaster and it's base game compatible there are so many cool and unique flavors like toast with avocado for your basic la bitches by basic la bitches i'm talking about me that's me i fucking love avocado toast i don't give a fuck who knows it toast with jam toast with banana and peanut butter toast with refried beans there's a toast situation for everybody okay we've made it to our last mod the last mod i'm going to be discussing is oni's recipe pack mod this creator has created a kind of like a cookbook, but there's not an actual cookbook. It is actually a grocery bag. You click on the grocery bag and your Sim is able to select from a wide variety of foods to choose from, including anime foods and quick and easy meals. This mod is base game compatible. It comes in four different swatches and the recipes, like I've said before, are not included. You have to download them individually or in a bulk download. And an honorable mention that coincides with this mod is Oni's custom grocery mod. With this mod, you can click on the same exact grocery bag that you can click on with the the recipe pack mod and you are able to get groceries delivered directly to your sims house in this grocery list are a plethora of custom content ingredients all you have to do is place an order and someone will come and deliver them to you right away and i think i see them coming vanessa zhang is delivering my groceries are we having trouble finding roles at the moment girl because why are you instacarting
And with that, we have groceries. Let me mention two more small mods while I'm still here. I'm gonna mention two overrides that I have. So I do have this cutting board override by Channel 4 Sims in my game. Look at it, it's so cute. This cutting board has a little heart in it. This isn't the only one available. There are 12 different versions of these cutting boards. You can only choose one at a time. And then I also have Apricot Rush's Pink Kitchen Retexture mod. It's basically an override for all of the kitchen cooking utensils. There are a few other swatches to choose from. I chose pink and it's just so girly and cute. Something to elevate your Sims kitchen. And that concludes all of my favorite Sims 4 food related mods. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of making it with Miss Nara over here. Thank you Miss Nara for your help and support in my desperate time of need because bitch, I don't know how to cook in real life. I do not. I need to learn a thing or two from this girl over here. And you know, since we have all this extra food, you know, I'm feeling a little giving. I'm feeling a little philanthropic. I think we should go out into the Sim Nation and go give some of our food out, you know, help those in need. Oh, this looks like a very needy stranger passing by. Anyway, while Nara is giving this Sim in need a delectable meal, I want to just take this time to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment below if there's any food related mods I should know about, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!